This week on The Choice. just spotted a great bull and we're just trying to figure out what he's going to do and what our plan of action is going to be but hopefully we can get a shot at him hunting is not about the trophy it's about the challenges that we face as hunters and it is our choice how we pursue our prey hunting doesn't end when you spot your game that's when the challenge begins closing the distance becoming part of your surroundings playing the wind being patient and waiting for that moment of truth from the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. Watch the road, would you? Just well, welcome watch. to this week's The Choice. This week on The Choice, we're heading up to northern Manitoba for caribou with, with adrenaline, adrenaline Outfitters. Yeah. Yes, and if you haven't noticed, my voice is hoarse because she's driving, and I'm. Oh, be quiet. This week's lucky. Road. This week's lucky logo is Hoyt. Get to wear Hoyt's baby. The best bows in the world. They are. You're right. So watch for the Hoyt logo at the end of the show. We'll tell you what to do Put with your that. Hands so, on the wheel sorry about that. Okay. So, anyways, let's head up to northern Manitoba. Caribou. It's going to be fun. Adrenaline Outfitters. Heather and Jeremy. Let's go. Did you see that over Would there? Did you oh, sorry. watch the road? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, we've made it to the airport. There's nobody here. Uh, we're really excited. We'll take a short flight to Minneapolis and then on to Winnipeg. We can't wait to start hunting caribou in two days. Well, our bows are going to make it with us to Minneapolis. Maybe. Maybe, right? They're just kind of sitting out there by themselves. Russ is going to meet us up here this morning. We're going to catch a flight from here in Winnipeg to Churchill where we'll catch our float plane into camp. So we're excited. It's been a relatively painless trip so far, and I can't wait to get to caribou hunting. Hey, man, how you doing? See you, Heather. Well, you met you. They got no sense of humor there. None? I put my... Where? At the gate there. Oh. She says, uh, put your stuff on the, on the thing. I got to wear your luggage. She says, you're overweight. I said, yeah, but I'm trying really hard. <laughs> yeah, I go to the site. Oh. Yeah, 10 minutes. Churchill is a, is a really neat community right on the Hudson's Bay coast. Uh, we spent a day there. We uh, got taken out to go see a polar bear. Um, we just saw the head of the polar bear. Or it was a guy with a polar bear head on a stick. We're still not sure. He's camera shy. <laughs> he just does not want to be on camera. Every time he honks, he'll come up, take a peek, and goes back down. I actually felt the wind from the prop go across the back of my neck when that plane went over the top of us. The plane came over, he couldn't have been more than six inches over the top of my head, <laughs> so I had to duck. I had to physically get out of the way of the plane. I mean, it's the, oh. it's the wilderness, man. You take it as it comes. Getting fueled up, we're gonna do an offload, pack our gear on, and head west. Seems like a lot of water. <laughs> Are you concerned? <laughs> no. Jeremy, when we take off, you got to hang on to this real tight all the way. So if you let go, you'll fall. Okay? <laughs> well, we have everything loaded in the plane, and it's going to take off. I'm excited. Our caribou camp is, uh, is not the rustic tent camp that uh, a lot of places offer. It's a solid walled cabin. There's two camps. Uh, the one we went to, uh, we chose because it's a little more conducive to bow hunting. Uh, it's got a little more relief in, in the topography and it's got a, a little more vegetation. So as far as getting closer or setting up ambush points, it's a little better for, for archery hunting. So that's where we generally send the guys who are, are uh, interested in bow hunting caribou. Either camp is, uh, is similar, uh, just one happens to have a little more terrain that we can offer what we feel is a better bow hunt opportunity. The 
first day in caribou camp, we landed. First thing we always get the hunters to do is check their weapons, make sure that they made the trip. To the right. I'm gonna shoot the uh, top right dot. I'd say it's on. We got the TC out and they took a few shots with them. We met up with uh, our guide, Tyler. It's nice to shoot a caribou. And he decided that we were gonna walk a slightly different direction and glass some ridges and try to find some caribou. Well, we've spotted a really nice bull. We believe he's a shooter. He's up over this ridge. So we're gonna work our way down to the tree line, work down to the right, and hopefully we can get closer and uh, get a better look at him. But I think he's a good bull. First evening, and I'm super excited. Yeah. We're about 350 yards from that bull. He's, a, he's definitely a bow, bow bull, but yeah, no way to get there. He's an old bull. He's got a lot of length on him. He doesn't have a lot of points. Um, he's really long in front, but again, fronts don't have a lot of points. He's a great mature bull. He'd be great to take, but um, we've run out of cover right now. So unless he closes the distance another 100 yards, I don't think we're going to push it. It's okay. the first day. Just wait and see what happens. We decided we were going to head to, to a lake that uh, a guide that uh, had used to work at this camp had told me about. And he said it was a long walk and it was a wet walk, but it was worth it. So we uh, headed out in that direction and he was right. It was a, a long walk and a wet, really miserable walk. Got into some great areas, saw some great ambush country. Uh, the bulls and the, and the caribou in general weren't moving through in the numbers, uh, you know, like the full migration. Uh, still seeing animals. We stalked in a couple uh, small groups, just didn't see the animal we wanted. Well, we're going to make our way down into this flat, go down in the bottom and look out across. We get really high winds, so we can't get low and you know, use uh, this wind to our advantage down in that bottom. We did a, a quite a bit of walking. I uh, got to a, a certain area that uh, in the past has been good. Saw caribou, almost every ridge we climbed we would see caribou, but not always ones that we wanted to go after and, and when we'd get closer, uh, sometimes we just wouldn't find that bull that was gonna, you know, make the day for us. You see what Hang on, they're still, they're looking behind them. That's pretty cool. We stopped here for lunch, just finished up. We're backing up to make our way back down to the boat. And we had those two small bulls come out. Pretty neat encounter. Second ridge we climbed, we saw a group of bulls. One of them looked like a shooter that we should go after. We hunkered down, we wait. We thought we had a great setup. Uh, caribou again, they changed their mind. About four or 500 yards out they hung a little bit to the east so we watched them uh, saw where they bed down and figured we could make a move on them we uh, snuck into a bit of a drainage got through the trees got up to the edge of the trees realized we were still about 200 yards away from them got closer to about 150 yards and then just ran out of cover so we made an executive decision that uh, since heather and jeremy hadn't killed a caribou before that if the bulls got up and wandered by us, then uh, they would have their bows at the ready. But if they got up and walked in any different direction, then the TC was ready to bark. The Tundra Marathon was on. Uh, the four of us ran as soon as he was out of sight, up a slope, through some trees to close in on the caribou. Unfortunately, by the time we got to the end of the trees, uh, the, the animals were out of bow range. And then Heather made the decision that uh, this bow was good enough that she was going to try him with the rifle. We've spotted the bulls, they're bedded down. And we're thinking the one on the left is a, a shooter for sure and a, and a gunshot. Yeah, we've got, we've got five bulls. Three of them are, are shooters. The one is, is a, a no brainer. We will, okay. And there's two others. That, I, if things don't work out with the big one, then you'd be more than happy with, I think. Okay. So what's the game plan? I think, I don't know, I think we'll just try to creep ahead a bit farther, maybe just to that rock there. There's a two on the left. Right, he's the far one. And he's the, and he's the next. 
one. He's right in the middle. Okay, and there's two more. It's 130 yards. Okay, we're just waiting for these bulls to stand up and see what they're going to do. I'm going to take a shot with the TC, so hopefully we get one. After about an hour and a half, two hour nap, the bulls got up, got restless, started to move, and as our luck would have it, they decided to move almost dead away from us. Nice up. Is he up? Which one is he, the first one? but they're all around them. Can you help me hold this deck still? Mm -hmm. oh, no way, are you kidding me? <sighs> Which one is he? What? From the left, like from the left, you see the one on the skyline. He's the one down. Yeah, not not right below. Next one to the right. I'm shaking. So he's walking? Yeah, farthest right one now. I'm shaking. I can't keep it still. Don't shoot yet. I know. Oh my God! All right, you're gonna have to help me out. I can't hold this stick still. You want to shoot him, Jerry? Shoot him. Get on the camera. <sighs> We're trying to rock. Yeah. You on him? Yes. say on that one we uh, the wind is blowing crazy the wind is blowing crazy Heather Heather had I guess three shots at that bull and just couldn't get the couldn't get the wind was blowing her too much and I think we finally we finally got him down so it's a great bull I'm excited to go see him you want to have a crack at the other one <laughs> you want me to, I gotta get steady oh uh, the wind's not blowing now I gotta get steady Better than I've been so far. He's just walking away from us though. Maybe he turns. Well, no. Maybe he'll turn. Are you on him? I'm on him. Which one is he now? He's back. Hang on, just wait. Back one. Back one. There we go. Did he go down? Yeah, he's down. Oh my goodness. Go. <laughs> I just needed a solid rest. He made me work for that one. <laughs> you know, we we spotted them earlier this morning. Got got up on them. I shot. Jeremy took a nice bull. We've got two bulls down on the first morning. Way to go, babe. That's awesome. It's, it's beautiful here. We're in northern Manitoba. Tyler and Russ with Adrenaline Outfitters. This has just been an awesome hunt so far. I can't wait for the rest of the week. Where's your bull at, baby? Let's go find him. Did you get it, Russ? <laughs> well, here he is. Here's my bull. We pulled him out of the little water hole where he fell here. I tell you what, it's his, uh, this is a great bull. It's a great representative of the type of caribou here in northern Manitoba. It's got great fronts, great tops, full velvet, you know, kind of a crazy hunt. We, the wind is blowing so hard today that, uh, you know, Heather actually tried to get a couple of shots on this guy and uh, just was unable to, to make it happen. So I grabbed the rifle and, and was able to get a, a steady enough uh, rest to, uh, to get a good clean shot. So can't be more happy with this animal. Like I say, it's got great fronts, full velvet. Thank you, Russ, Adrenaline Outfitters. It's a dream come true. My first caribou. Wow. Look at this. 
What an awesome animal. And a nice shovel up front. We've already seen, it's the first morning, we've already seen a lot of caribou so far. We spotted these bulls early this morning. Had to put a stalk on them for quite a while, but got within range and here he is. Awesome, awesome. And I wanna thank Russ with Adrenaline Outfitters, Ralph and Vicki for the opportunity, and Jeremy behind the camera for introducing me to hunting. This is amazing, I'm so excited to be here. Fortunately, there was two good bulls in the group and fortunately, um, Heather and Jeremy make a pretty good team and both ended up taking a great bull on that day. Once we got those bulls all cleaned up, most of the day was spent, you know, we take care of them out in the field, cape them. This is the fun part here. Process the meat in the field, get them packed back to camp and get the meat hanging. We're having caribou stew, uh, probably not from Heather's bowl, that's still hanging. We're also frying up one of the caribou hearts that everybody else who gives Russ is going to eat, because I don't do heart. Had a nice supper, um, camp also has indoor plumbing and two washrooms, uh, hot and cold running water, showers, so we could all clean up at the end of the day and get a good night's sleep. So then we were going to be concentrating on bow hunting for the remainder of the hunt. Well, today's day four. This is the last day of our trip here in northern Manitoba. It's, uh, as you can see, it's starting to spit rain a little bit. Kind of get our rain gear, gear on and uh, get ready. Hopefully this stuff will blow over and we can have a relatively painless last day. We've uh, been pretty fortunate. Heather and I both got a, a bowl on day one. Uh, we're gonna try to make it happen this morning with the bow. The area north of camp here, we're gonna go try that. That's the only piece we haven't tried. They've had some really nice sightings, big bull, last couple of days there. So, see if we can make it happen. Last day here in Manitoba. Well, we started out the day in full rain gear, and as the day went on, it got better and better. We saw some animals again, uh, all at a distance, and watched them. They disappeared into the trees. There's another caribou down there by the water. We made our best guess. We were running out of daylight, uh, set up uh, at the edge of one uh, corner of bush. Wouldn't you know it, this one bull caribou comes out and made the mistake of getting within bull range of Jeremy. Caribou trotted a few steps. Amazingly quickly, uh, I heard another arrow on its way. That one definitely hit the bull again. And uh, he ran up the ridge, did a loop, went out of sight. We can see him going. He's going back towards the water right now. Last day here in Manitoba, I finally get a bow shot. We're gonna go make, I think he went down right there by the water. Uh, I did not see him come out of that tree line. Yes. Last day, the last kilometer before camp, after a long, long hike, we got her done. We did. You know, uh, we the end result's great. We got a caribou down. The first shot, though, I thought I really made a good shot. But after we stopped and looked at the film, um, it looks like, I, and you can see, I, I grazed the top of his back. But uh, I was able to get a second shot in him, although it was a little far and back. Uh, I guess we uh, we still have a dead caribou, so. Yeah, I, I always believe that once you put a shot into an animal, and we thought you first shot it, it drilled him to keep flinging as he's giving you chances. and. Uh, he stood around a little too long, and thankfully the last one did do the job. We got him taken care of. We got a bull killed care before you. That's first it. First one. First one. That's awesome. Thank you, Russ. It's been, a, have you up here. it's been an adventure, buddy. Man, we're going fast. Would you slow down? No. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Listen, that, that was, was really, really cool. cool. And there, that just gives you another different place to hunt. Yeah, Terrible. hello, Jeremy. Good North job. Northern Manitoba, Adrenaline. Adrenaline Outfitters, Russ, guys. Thanks so much for having us up there again. The I'm sorry. I just like to talk to you. Just you know, you're supposed to have eye contact when you're talking to people. Hey, if you happen to see the Hoyt, which was Lucky Logo. You need to Best log on in the world. You need to log on to choicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great things from Hoyt as well as other manufacturers. Next week's show, we're heading to Montana for deer, so you don't want to miss that one either. Freddy, Powder River out first. Our emotional boy. He's going to be up there with Hop too. Okay, yeah, okay, sorry. Curve, oh, there is. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next My week. My choice. I should drive. Did you see that? Watch the road.